Substance 3D Designer now supports while loops, allowing you to easily repeat a function many times. In this video, we'll take a look at how to use these while loops. Before we get started, you'll need to verify your preferences are set to use the latest Substance Engine version. Go to Edit, Preferences, Projects. Under the list of projects, there's a drop down for Compatibility Display. Make sure this is set to Substance Engine V9 as Engine V8 does not support while loops. While loops are only meant to be used inside function graphs, and you're most likely to implement them in a pixel processor, FX map, or value processor. We'll use a value processor to try it out, making it easy for us to check results. When we place a while loop, we see it has three connections. If you've ever done programming with code, it should be familiar. The init connector lets you set up your initial variables. The exit condition is a Boolean function that completes the while loop and continues your function beyond the loop. And then finally, the loop body is the piece of the function that will be repeated until the exit condition is met. Let's build a very simple loop to demonstrate this. First, we need to set a variable to an initial value. We'll use a set node and have it set a variable called i. We can use any variable name here, as long as it's not already in use for a parameter in our graph. The variable is created locally within this function and not available outside of it. Simply connect a float value of zero to set i to this value. Next, we'll create the exit condition. We want the loop to stop once i reaches a certain value. We'll use a greater or equal condition to compare i to a set value. We can get the current value of i using the get float node and then typing in i. Then, We'll create a static float value and set it to 10, and connect both to the comparing node. The order of the connections does matter, as i needs to be greater or equal than 10, not the other way around. Finally, we can create the loop body. We want to modify the value of i repeatedly so that it can reach 10. We'll need to get i again, and then connect it to an add node. If we add another float value of 1 and connect it to the add, we're increasing the value of i by one each time the loop runs. This increased value is not stored or saved yet. We need to set it again each time. So using another set node, we connect the result of the add and then connect that to the last connector of the while loop. Make sure the while loop is set as a function output by right clicking it and choosing that option. So if we now exit the function and double click our value processor, our output should be 10. This is the core setup of a while loop but there are a few things you should watch out for. Loops are very powerful, but if we let them run infinitely, it would lock up the Substance Engine and require app termination and restart. That's something you definitely want to avoid. If we jump back into the function and select the while loop node, you can see it has a max iterations value. This is a safeguard beyond the exit condition. If for some reason you make a mistake and the exit condition is never met, the loop will stop after it reaches 32 iterations. You can increase this value up to a maximum of about 16 million, but it's best to be very conservative and careful with your values. Another limitation of while loops is that you need to be very strict with the loop body function, as it's not allowed to connect to or from it outside of that body. The loop body needs to stand isolated and not use or provide values to anything outside of the main body. Think of it like drawing a frame around the loop body part and not being allowed to cross outside of that frame. If you do, it will not compute and you will get errors that show up in your lock window. So far, this example has been very basic, but while loops allow for much more intricate and complicated use cases. This example right here uses a pixel processor to do a blur. It's a convolution using 128 by 128 samples. So about 16,000. This would be too much to do without while loops, as it requires sampling points in a grid around the original input image and averaging them out. Instead, two nested loops are used. One loop increases the i value each loop. The other loop, inside of the first one, increases the j value, effectively sampling an entire column at a time. j is reset each time the secondary loop runs again, while i is not reset allowing the sampling to progress through each column. 
the result of each sample is continuously set into a result variable. When the loops have finished, the value is averaged by dividing it by the total amount of samples. We hope that clarifies the new while loops in Designer. We've only scratched the surface of what's possible with this feature and we can't wait to see what you make with it.